Hello student, welcome back to ME1201 CAD. This is a 3D modeling activity using Autodesk Inventor 2020 for figure 7 question 4B, the Geneva wheel. Let's head over to our 2D autographic drawing. Right. This activity is a very simple uh, activity. We, from, the use, from the look of it, we can use either extrude tool or revolve tool. But before we even look into that, let's simplify the whole model by removing all the secondary features such as these slots here and this R32 cutout. Let's remove all these. The diameter 30 hole and the keyway of with 6mm. Okay, let's remove this fella. And lastly, we will remove the R3 fillets. Okay, what's left is actually this diameter 148 and also the two hubs, diameter 48, both sides. Okay, take note we are doing, we are using the design intent method where you are to use all the dimensions provided in the drawing. Do not uh, plus them together, do not minus off together, they are to be used as it is. So let's begin. Uh, let's head over to our inventor software and this is your final product for the activity. Okay, very simple. Let's begin. Click on file, click on new, and the matrix folder, double click on the standard mm.ipt. As usual, we will go into the model browser, click on the plus sign to expand the origin folder, left click on the YZ plane, press the shift key, and click on the XY plane. Remove your shift key, right mouse click, and then click on visibility. We have now activated all the default planes from the origin folder. Now, let's start with the YZ plane. Click on the border of it. Click on create sketch next. We will use the revolve tool for this example. So for the revolve tool, I'll be creating the axis of rotation using this center line and I will create three rectangular shapes so the main one will be this one and the two hubs the two smaller rectangles here and here all right so go to two point rectangle start from this horizontal axis here and we drag it upwards. Ensure that you have these two lines of the first rectangle symmetry about this vertical axis here. Next, we will follow by two smaller rectangle here and then here. Okay, right mouse click and click on OK. Now, first step, before we do any dimensioning, let's try to move the bottom line here so click and drag it upwards okay you notice that our this edge here or this line is not constrained on to the origin point so when we have a point and we have a line to constrain them we will use the coincident constraint so click on coincident find the midpoint which is represented by this green dot and then find our dot at the origin so hover over it right mouse click select others and then click on point now our sketch has been brought back downwards with reference to the origin point next we need to create the axis of rotation about this here okay so you can create click on this project geometry and select the axis you notice that there's a maroon line that has been created 
right mouse click and then click OK to exit from the project geometry. Select the projected line. Okay, you notice it changes color from maroon to cyan color. And next, head over to this area here and click on center line. And now we can just dimension them. Click on dimensions, select this horizontal edge on the outside and select the center line to give you the diameter symbol and here we enter the 148 enter and here to the center line it's 48 press the tick button and lastly we just need to add the width of it 20 okay right mouse click press ok okay from our drawing itself, the width here, 20, shares the same value as the half length on both sides. So we will just use the equal constraint here. One, two, and then we apply again. One, two. You can still dimension them manually, but yeah, this is just another alternative for you to apply the constraint by using the equal constraint. Right mouse click, press OK. Now we have gotten ourselves the center line. Okay, we have drawn all the three rectangles and click on finish sketch. Select the revolve tool. Now under profiles, make sure there's a highlighted blue bar here underneath the select profiles. It's just to show you that, okay, we have the select profile uh, in selection now, we have to choose all the profiles 1, 2 and 3 on the axis which since we have already pulled out the center line, we have projected the center line, it will automatically select it as the uh, axis of rotation press ok let's head over to our 2D drawing we will now draw the slots here, now uh, before we even look into how to draw it let's just try to simplify these slots first of so this slot has been replicated by six times so one two three four five six means they are right circularly patterned six times around the whole feature here it's the same for this r32 cut up okay so what you can do actually you just need to draw a single feature like this slot over here and this R32 cutout and once we have done the extrude cut we will just perform the circular pattern throughout the full body here the full part okay so uh, to do so let's start with the slot first okay it has a width of 14 mm okay and the bottom circle here actually are constrained by the bigger diameter of diameter 84 okay let's start with this first so let's go head over to inventor we will click on this face and create a new sketch we will click on project geometry and let's project this axis okay the vertical axis now since we are drawing a slot Expand the rectangular uh, tool here. There are some function for slots, for drawing slots. So I will use the center to center for this case. The first center, I will begin from this outer region here. Now the bottom one will be here and I will just drag it outside, outwards. Right mouse click, click OK. Now, we will need to draw another circle of center here to the center of this uh, bottom circle here. Let's go to circle, start from here as a center, and then we will find a, another center here. Right mouse click, press OK. We will now convert this to construction line because this is just to act as a reference to apply the diameter 84 mm. So click 
on the uh, left click on the circle right mouse click and select construction mode okay you will be presented by these dash lines here click on dimensions select your bigger circle here and enter that 84 we will select here to here with a width of 14 mm and we have a fully constrained slot now now let's create the r32 this time so we know that there's a circle here with a radius 32 mm and the center of this radius 32 is actually a bigger diameter a bigger circle of diameter 190 okay and that portion is actually drawn here okay we are drawing a circle here so next click on project geometry select this horizontal axis we will draw a bigger circle here all the way outer and next again with the circle tool in selection we will start from here okay the intersection of the horizontal axis with this bigger circle and we will draw slightly into the the part body right mouse click press ok to end the circle tool now left click on the bigger circle make sure it's selected by looking at the color change right mouse click and select construction mode click on dimensions select this bigger circle and enter there 190 now this smaller circle will have a radius of 32 okay please remember on default since we have drawn this as a full circle it will always show a dimension of diameter okay you see here the arrow is pointing on both sides so instead of left clicking yet don't don't left click yet just right mouse click and go into dimension type and click radius now type in 32 and press ok so we have done the most basic shape of this uh, slot and the r32 circle we will next click on finish sketch select the extrude tool select the sketch of the slot and the sketch of the circle and click on the boolean as cut and we will cut through all and press ok okay we will now perform the circular pattern okay the, the instances is six times as counted just now so on the pattern panel click on circular pattern select your feature either from the graphical window or through the model browser under the rotation axis select the cursor and click on any cylindrical references okay automatically on default is always six instances so this is what is uh, what is the requirement of the question press ok All right it's somewhat getting closer to our final product we are left with the diameter 30 hole the keyway of width 6 mm and lastly just the two radiuses on both sides so if you ask me i will actually do the hole the fillet and then the keyway because yeah the the, the the steps are from the simplest one and then followed by the harder one okay so let's click create the holes so go to hole tool select this face as your starting plane select a cylindrical feature or edge as your uh, reference change the whole type to simple hole click none as a sitting and your termination as true all with a diameter of 30 okay press ok now we will click on these two edges so one press the shift key with your middle mouse to rotate still holding on to your shift key press the other one okay you have selected two edges now 
and click on fillet here. Change the radius to 3mm as stated in your drawing and press OK. Now we are come about to the last feature to be drawn which will be this keyway here. It has a width of 6mm with a from flat to this furthest curvature of the diameter 30 circle with a length of 34mm. So 6 by 34. So we will start from this plane or this face, click on it and create sketch. Under the slot here, expand it and select two point rectangle. Let's zoom in slightly and from this corner here, we will just draw roughly a rectangular shape. Right mouse click, press OK to end the two point circle, the two, two point rectangle. Now this entity here or this point must be constrained to this diameter 30 circle. So point to curvature constraint is by using the coincident constraint. So select coincident constraint, click on this point and click on this diameter 30 curvature. Next, go to dimension, select this horizontal length and enter there 6. And now it's a bit unique here. Pay attention. Click on this horizontal line. If you are not careful, you can just click on this uh, circle. You will notice that the dimensions is given from this horizontal line to the center of that circle. But however, this is not what is required from your drawing. The drawing itself it states that you need from this horizontal line all the way to the other end of the diameter 30 circle. Okay. So, instead of that, we can still uh, try to dimension it that way. Okay, but first, let's end this dimension. Go back to your dimensioning tool. Click on here. Let me zoom slightly. Now, pay attention to the cursor symbol there. It's a normal dimensioning, but once I go closer and closer to the quadrant, you'll notice the symbol changes. Okay. From a normal dimensioning tool, it becomes to a to a tangent dimensioning. So when you have that symbol, left click on it, and you will be presented by this uh, dimension style where it measures from the outermost edges of that two feature. So click once more and apply there 34 mm. Once we're happy with it, click on finish sketch, select your extrude tool. Select the sketch and we will perform a boolean cut with a true all all the way through the part of the Geneva wheel. Let's double check making sure that it has extruded correctly, correct directions and press OK. And this is your final product for this activity. Happy trying!